Hi there, it's John again, with questions for Jim on the proper way to use fiducials with the SMT 550. Some background before we begin. Designers generally insert two, three, or four special copper footprints called fiducials, or marks, into their PC design. These marks are used by the cameras on the PNP machine to ensure that the registration of the board in the machine exactly matches the layout of the pads and components on the PCB that it's placing. With knowledge of these coordinates, the placement machine software can compensate for any rotated, skewed, or off-center board alignment. There are two things to note. These fiducial marks have X and Y locations in the part list that are referenced off of the same origin and scale as the components that need to be placed. And two, the further apart these markings are from each other, the more precise the alignment and corrections can be. When setting up for an array of boards, alignment becomes more critical due to the larger area and the compounding of any misalignment precision the further from the origin the parts are placed. While one could reuse these previous board fiducials from the extreme corner boards in a panel, designers typically add additional markings for the alignment of the panel itself. This particular board is not a great example because the panel marks are symmetrical. Using just the panel marks, you can't tell whether the board has been rotated 90 or 180 degrees. So here's my three questions for Jim. When the part list contains explicit entries for fiducials, please explain what the operator needs to do to avoid validation errors, such as missing nozzles, missing feeders, or auto placement optimization that are caused by the presence of fiducials in the part list. Question two, how do I use the defined fiducials and the camera to align a second board such that the go to, go to next, and test placement buttons work correctly? And then finally, where do I specify panel fiducials that are also not board fiducials? All three of these will be illustrated later with video footage. Let's walk through the import of a new board using the CPOD project that I've been using in recent videos. I use the pull-down menus to designate the two fiducials as sign 1 and sign 2. To set the registration points on this PCB board, I need to move the mark camera to each of the fiducials using the upper left PCB in the board array. So here's fiducial number one. Save it. Line up fiducial number two. and save it. When all of the marks have been set on the board, press Generate to fill in the PCB data. Notice how the Go To and supposedly also Place Test and Go To Next buttons do what's expected. The next step is to make a 2x3 panel. Choose one of the board fiducials and move the camera to it on each of the corner boards. This, along with the X and Y dimensions you entered, determine the board spacing.
Once you've verified that all four corners are set, pressing Run will fill out the PCB data with all the components on the panel. The first problem comes up when we set up the SMT table. Note that the fiducials show up as a component to be placed, yet there is nothing to place on those footprints and you can't leave the fields in the chip category SMT table blank. You also can't delete the fiducial entries because then the program will crash. Question 2 comes in when the previously set mark points don't align after loading another PCB. The third question comes in when I try to use panel marks instead of board marks.